All right, good day. Hope everybody out there is having a good one. This is your first time to the channel. What we do is we find uh, music from all around the world. Uh, we follow people's suggestions rather than following the uh, algorithms. Uh, we found uh, way more artists than the algorithm ever would have fed us. Um, all different types of genres. Uh, all different amazing people doing just incredible things from all around the world uh we found whole new genres of music um and you know uh acts and artists and stuff that we never would have found any other way because we're not in those regions we we forget how region locked uh we kind of are with some stuff unless we're kind of telling you know it to like i've been watching a lot of this gentleman right here and still he doesn't come up in my feed as much as you would think it's it's kind of weird um still the algorithm is fighting so yeah keep the suggestions coming um if you got a you know artist or somebody that uh, you want us to check out and show the rest of the class please do tell uh we got a lot of cool bands to get to and a lot of awesome stuff but um I wanted to share this. I just picked up. I did a video on this gentleman um, a little bit ago. And um, Roy Clark. And uh, he was actually doing a um, um, a Spanish uh, songs because some uh, deep roots to it, uh, Melaguena. And um, I think I'm saying that right. Anyway, um, so I find on this album that there's a song that I first heard Paco do called Tico Tico. So I'm looking forward to hearing Roy's version of that as well. Um, and, uh, it, I would, I would love to have seen, uh, Paco in person. And I, I'm envious of those who have, um, but the same with, uh, Roy Clark, at least, uh, I knew about Roy Clark at a younger age and was, um, able to, uh, get some inspiration, um, instead of, uh, later on with Paco, but, uh, better late than never. Right. So let's check this out. Uh, Paco de Lucia with La Barrosa, La, 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 La Barrosa. L Laboros sorry <laughs> Laborosa Paco de Lucia and of course it's live It's like he's just he's just sitting there riffing like he's making it up on the spot. Hey. This skill just in that clapping. Come on. You're gonna clap the back, or you're gonna be on your best clap. Thank <laughs> you. 
Enough time to wiggle the note too. Like how the song has like it's parts, it's like sections. I wanted to uh, talk about here, and I wanted to to mention now. Somebody had mentioned because I had I had asked in a previous video about um, like the strings, like if they, they were all nylon, because sometimes it looked like the top would be steel and the bottom was nylon. And somebody said that um, that is a technique that um, is used. Um, I can't remember if they were saying he specifically um, used it, but it makes um, you know, a lot of sense and it does, but it, it's like, he can get the sharpness out of the, the dullest piece of whatever. I mean, you could give him bailing wire and he, you know, um, bobbed wire and he'd play it awesome. I mean, the fact too, that like, all right, he's like, He's throwing a lot of notes into like, you just, you can count a second or like within one, like within that amount of time, he's already hit over a hundred notes and it's just, and the way that he just effortlessly rolls across the board. I mean, I've said this a million times, but I mean, they really sometimes to be, I mean, I wish. I really wish there would have been like one of them, you know, super groups. Now I know that, and we've covered it here on the channel. We have a flamenco playlist and we have a Paco de Lucia playlist. So some serious, we take this because, uh, yeah, this is a genre. I wish I would have known, you know, more about growing up. I re remember hearing music and stuff, but I never put, one to the other i never know knew who was doing it i heard you know the music in the backgrounds of like movies or documentaries and stuff like that but never really um you know knew much about the history of this and it's been just an honor to learn about and and but what i was getting at is uh that we've uh covered here on the channel was there was al demiola john mclaughlin and uh paco de lucia that's an awful lot of talent to be putting on one stage and just the way i mean they they could make the the simplest of things really technical and um you know even the way they come in and mute strum and get this like this beat going and this rhythm and then they all riff off of each other it's just a beautiful sight to behold you have to go check that out um and please follow the links and all that. We try to link up everybody as much as possible. Um, with Paco, it's more of a, we'll link you to every, you know, place that we can to, to go learn um, about this gentleman and uh, um, other videos and stuff that we can. Um, and like I said, we get a whole playlist of stuff that, um, you know, if you want to take the shorthand version and go check out those videos, I uh, highly suggest, especially if you're an aspiring guitarist, you need to get this, this, 
in your repertoire. I wish as a guitarist, I would have known about this man a whole lot sooner. He's inspired me um, today, but I wish he would have inspired me growing up playing guitar. I probably would have went another direction or would have done um, other things um, or looked at the instrument in another way, um, which this has allowed me um, to do. And, and all great musicians should, um, you know, inspire you in some way. Um, you know, and even if it's not your, your kind of, uh, music, I mean, there's a, there's a whole lot of, uh, you know, artists or whatever that I wouldn't necessarily, uh, go looking for, but I still appreciate and really respect the amount of, you know, talent and skill and just the, at the level that they are at and what they are doing. And I mean, some of the stuff that we got here on this channel, I didn't even think humans could do. And it's like yeah not only can they do it but they're doing it like very well um and paco is a perfect example of somebody that he like you see him he just every once in a while he'll take a look down at the guitar but it isn't like he needs to he does most everything with his eyes closed it's all feeling and you know it's like he's practice so much i mean there's a great history about him and um you know there's uh an awful lot of awesome people that come in the comments that have i've learned so much from um and where he's from and you know spain has a lot to be proud of already in history in general um but they're like what they have offered like up and how they've inspired music and at the level they have, you know, it's just to even today, uh, there are people like Paco that are just, you know, inspiring people to do incredible things. I mean, I wish though, like, you know, talking about super groups, like, can you imagine like them all playing together with like the likes of like Neil Per and, you know, uh, just, different musicians that come from different but are the best at in their like genre or their you know um or their instrument and then put them all together you know i mean it, it would be like some of the the finger style guitarists that we've um you know looked at on here like uh even like elite bata and stuff like that i mean i know that these guys would you know be very you know, impressed with, you know, what he does. And please go check out the playlist of Elite Bata. Um, he's from Indonesia. And I'm telling you, this guy just, you got to check this out. And um, he really, yeah, he makes a guitar do things that it's like, whoa. And he does it so effortlessly, plucks harmonics right out of nowhere. I mean, you know, you want to pull talk about pulling that shit out of heaven. This guy does it on the guitar and it's just he does it so effortlessly and it really you know it's like one of them things paco would be proud because this is the stuff that he pushed forward this this is music that he you know him himself you know uh you know he got a lot of flack for things that he was doing at the time like hey whoa 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 you know this we've we've already done we've gone far enough with this genre we we need to stay to its to its roots to its and he kept pushing it and pushing it and got it into the jazz areas and you know you some would say even to the rock areas you know and now look at what we got we have finger style artists we have speed metal you know of all sorts and all of these guitarists, in a way, whether they know it or not, kind of, you know, owe a little bit to this man right here on the screen. Um, you know, th this is a, you know, he has paved the way for other in intense guitarists that have inspired people. They all look to this guy and they're like, yeah, you think I'm, I'm awesome. Check this guy out because he's the one that, you know, inspired me. So, um, even the great Keith Richards himself has said there is no other that the, the best in the world still, I mean, hands down, it's just, you know, and Hey, it's not a competition. Well, because somebody already won, but it's still, it's not a competition and people like what they like. And, um, it's just really, uh, the, the amount of feeling and effort and, uh, it's just oh, effortlessly 
that you know things that he does uh it's just amazing i could see here and ramble on about it for hours and that's one of the things like being involved in music you know i get sent music from all over the world for the radio and all all this other stuff it's like you know it's like um you know when you've overdone something sometimes it takes a lot to to bring you back to that joyous time where it's like when you first when you were young and you were getting exposed to all these new genres of music and you were like wow and you've never heard anything like that before in your life and that's what Paco is like for me. It's like, even though I've seen him play things or I've seen him do different versions of songs, it's like, I could see, him, I can watch him play the same song just in a different place and it'd be a whole new experience. And it's the same song. But he, it's like every, every moment you had with this man or every concert was like a snowflake it was one of a kind there was never going to be another one like it and you know there wouldn't be again and it's just you know no was there before and no will there ever be it's just it's one of those things that it's in that moment and if you weren't there to grab a hold of it then you know we're lucky that we have this and we have people that are archiving this stuff and bringing it up and showing it and there's people that are you know leading people like me the way like showing people hey you need to go check this out look you're not done yet you need to do more and i know and what this i could just totally make a whole channel just based on this man and that would i would yeah that'd be fine for me but, um, you know, we really enjoy finding, you know, all sorts of music. It's just um, having a genre that's so deeply rooted in where it's from and have it still today like like this was just written. You know, it, it just it's like even though it's 20, 40, 50 years old, it's still it feels like this fresh new thing that is just inspiring and, and and it's just a great thing and you can't help but like smile um when paco plays even at his most melancholy of songs it's just wow and you know if anything it's just sheer amazement of what you're witnessing and um that's a very special thing and um you know we there's that's the great thing about music is uh you know it brings people together and you know and i will say one thing real quick like you know with politics and everything let's not let like musical stars and say like oh this fan base is only for like this certain political view or whatever music is to bring people together those other things seek to divide let's try not to mix the two but you do what you do and I'm not going to tell you how to think or how to live your life. I'm, that's not my thing. It's just music is meant to bring people together. Um, just, you know, uh, keep that in mind. But um, yes, please go check this man out. If you have not seen any of the Paco videos, we're going to have you all linked up with all the places up, down, corners, all the spots. Just click on something. <laughs> And uh, you'll be linked up. We got, like I said, we got Paco, Flamenco playlists. We got a ton of stuff here to check out. And um, just all sorts of incredible artists doing amazing things. So like, comment, subscribe, do the YouTube things. And uh, let us know what we should be checking out. And artists, we got a huge list that we're getting to. Um, trust me, I got I got a, a ton of stuff bookmarked, but uh, it never hurts to remind me either. So uh, definitely, but um, and we got new acts that we're gonna get back to, like Freeze the Fall and the Warning and all these other acts, and we got a lot of vocalists. I mean, we got a lot of stuff around here. We got a lot of cool playlists. Those playlists alone will get you started on a nice musical journey, and I hope that it leads you down to find music that you never would have found any other way because that's what that's what we aim to do here is enlighten broaden people's horizons and uh that's what you know um this has done for me and uh 
and I am enjoying it greatly. And the music that I have found has inspired me and put a smile on my face and got me through some stressful times. And I'm pretty appreciative of that. And I'm appreciative of you folks out there uh, pointing the way. So please do uh, leave a comment. Let me know um, something that I should be checking out. And above all, have a great day out there. I hope it's going as good as it possibly can be. I know stuff's getting a little weird, a little hectic at times, but... Uh, but hey, remember, you know, come together with music and appreciation of something. We can all disagree about all that other stuff, but we can all agree that this this is the musical genius right here. Agree to disagree, but this is something that, you know, should be, you know, bringing people together. And that's that's what it's all about. People of all shapes, sizes, walks of life, political affiliations and all that. They all can like the same artist and appreciate the same thing and uh that's what it's all about so um have a great day out there everybody and um definitely check out Marco and uh be amazed in awe of the magic and we will see you in the next one have a great day out there everybody <laughs>